more about the investigation, including new details about the gunman and the safe security measures in the Uvalde School District. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is outside the gunman's home. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Michael. That rampage began in that house just behind me. The suspect allegedly shooting his grandmother first. Now, law enforcement officials tell me that the suspect purchased both of those AR style rifles just two days before the shooting legally. The investigation now focusing on whether he had accomplices and whether this was pre planned in any ways and how the suspect managed to slip through all of the guardrails in place in this community meant to stop an attack just like this. This morning, authorities telling ABC News the shooter legally purchased two AR variant long guns within a week of his 18th birthday. The, what happened uh, in Uvalde is a horrific tragedy uh, that cannot be tolerated uh, in the state of Texas. His classmates at Uvalde High School telling ABC News the suspect was known for fighting and threatening classmates. Like, uh, Nathan Romo, who had witnessed part of the shooting, had once been friends with him. What did you do to prompt him to say, I'll kill you? Nothing. I, well, I used to be his friend, but then I told him, like, that I was going to start being his friend no more because, like, he was being weird with, like, not only me, but, like, a lot of other people. Several classmates telling us the suspect rarely went to school, and when he did, he sometimes frightened students like Ureli Vasquez. He had scars on his face, and I remember somebody asking him, like, what happened? Are you okay? Because he showed up to school with them, and he just straight out told them, you know, with a smile. I, I did it myself because I like how Hey, Shalom Maki, I'm Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekakwadash. Devil honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Real quick, man, I kind of wanted to zoom in on this um, this whole shooting thing. This uh, so called Latin tribe guy that shot up the school. Now, you pay attention to it. Uh, it's a lot of fishy business that's going on here because, for one thing, these people can't act. Second of all, what will compel him to shoot up a damn school randomly, uh, uh, elementary school at that? Third of all, you notice that it ain't nothing but Latin King. I mean, Latin, Latin American or uh, Latin Jakes, Northern Kingdom Jakes. And then if you look at the symbolism, they got all these idols on the wall, these crosses back there. OK, which shows you that that was systematically this was purposely done and shot from that angle because what Esau was doing, man, he's creating a narrative for brothers man okay because all of a sudden you had a shooting like two weeks ago when a guy shot up the uh the subway station i mean that was like a month ago then you had another one when he went in there and shot up the damn store and all of a sudden you got this now which they're trying to you know do gun grabs but what are the chances that these are Latin jakes now and what stood out to me significantly was the fact that they're getting they're they're basically getting intel basically getting a, a report on this man okay and they're basically saying a lot of crazy shit about him they're basically slandering the guy because we okay whether it happened or you know esau behind it we know esau was behind the shit regardless whether he was on the mk ultra he was a military vet could have been a cia agent you know but this is what they're using to spread the narrative because the american people or the american sheeple are that stupid to not know that their own country their own government is planning us to try to get at the profits man because when you look at the comment board, all oh, those poor babies didn't deserve that. And, you know, as unfortunate as it is, nobody's innocent. But we're not going to really get into that aspect of it. But we're getting into how they're basically doing a mock interview on how wicked this guy was. And pay attention, brothers, man. This is the same thing they're going to do to us. OK, whether they hire people, OK, to say that they know us or they bring people against us or they plant people in certain brothers lives to kind of watch you or when they come into your family, your women, your children. You can expect a narrative like this, especially if you don't have a good history with your family, so to speak. OK, because the thing of it is they're going to use narratives like, well, did you know he was in a cult? Did you know he uh, had these stalls? Did you know he he hated so-called white? You know, they're going to use all that and they're going to play on the emotions of your family members, your women. And it only takes your woman to be mad about one argument <laughs> that she didn't understand. And she's pissed off at you. You think she's going to side for you? Fuck no, nah, she's going to feed you to these people, man. Because the only thing they need is the narrative and public opinion on their side. Then they, they at us. Even if they don't come at us physically, which they will, even then they're going to have people doing their bidding because off the interviews and narratives that people are going to give them on our account, whether it be false or plagiarized or concocted or made up or fabricated to some degree, 
they're going to use this to be justified on putting us out there as wanted people. And when the people see us, they're going to want to seek us down and kill us, man. And that's the narrative that this devil is going to is going to spread. But see, that's when the, 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 the Lord and that's when the standard of the Lord comes in, because he knows that we're going to need protection from this. OK, but I'm going to let this video play. But I just found it interesting that this is a narrative that they're pulling They're getting an interview on this guy. And everybody is saying negative shit about him. So therefore, they could say, oh, well, you know, he was crazy. He had this type of feeling X, Y, and Z. When these stupid idiots right here, whether they set up as crisis actors or what, they ain't realizing that Esau has set this shit up. And that the people that's interviewing him already know the scoop. They already know that the guy was probably under some type of mental hypnosis, probably on drugs. Or he was probably a government employee that they programmed to go in there like a drone and kill those kids. But these people will never put two and two together because they're so fucking, they're so mush-minded on social media, the television, okay? They're, they're content with mirth, folly, drinking, smoking, you know, going out to eat all the goddamn time. That's why these mother, that's why these people going to be destroyed here, all right? But, hey, come on, Esau, do what you got to do because, hey, the quicker you do what you got to do, the most high is going to do what he got to do. And we're going to be vindicated before this world, man. The Lord is going to vindicate us, man. All right. So anyway, I'm going to play the rest of this. I'm going to bring out a couple of precepts and now we ended off that. I just found the interesting. It looks. Vasquez had also worked with him at a restaurant. Now investigators working to determine how and when the gunman assembled his arsenal, which included AR-15s, body armor. And the people don't even look serious who they interview and do was smiling. You weren't even looking at the cameras. You people it's getting pathetic, man. And numerous magazines. So what we do know when he did make entry into the school and he was sh shooting children and adults and teachers, uh, we did have several police officers that made entry and actually m were met with gunfire by the suspect. Authorities saying he shot his grandmother before he headed to rob elementary school and unleashed that deadly assault. Oh, wow. Now it went up from 14 to 19 people. He allegedly shot his grandmother. Like, give me a break. And you notice if this was a so-called white boy, they would have went all into the mental illnesses. All he had problems in school. He wasn't getting the proper treatment at home. They would have blamed the parents. But by him being a Latin looking Jake, he was just basically wicked. He was weird. You see how they put the narrative on our people, man? You know? That school, part of a district with robust security measures in place. And I'm not justifying this guy by any means because what he did was completely off if it did go down like that. But you see the difference between us and them? They put a fucked up narrative on our people but when they do shit it's always justified you know like why did he kill himself but the nigga that shot up the uh store and killed those jakes he didn't have to kill himself he got apprehended with no issues behind him and find out that i believe he was attached to the navy seals or something like that special forces they they apprehended him without any type of harm and who knows they probably let him out through the back door that's if he's locked up including lockdown protocols, threat assessment teams, and a digital program to monitor social media threats. But the shooter allegedly leaving a trail of disturbing social media posts, hinting at an attack. Investigators now pouring over the gunman's accounts, where he reportedly sent videos and photos of guns to other users, even images of animal abuse. As recently as Tuesday... And that ain't even Jake. That's so sloppy. Who does that? Like, that's sloppy, bro. Out of all the social media accounts that's monitored, you mean to tell me they seen that they didn't watch this guy, they didn't roll on him prior? By him being a Latin Jake, they would have been locked him up just off the posters alone. <laughs> so they don't, it don't add up, man. Morning, an Instagram account believed to be connected to the shooter sending a photo of a gun laying on a bed to another user. Law enforcement also reviewing screenshots of messages the suspect allegedly sent a different Instagram user tagging them in an image of firearms. And then the day before the shooting, the gunman also reportedly saying on the platform, Yubo, wait till tomorrow. Now a community searching for answers. And I just spoke with the suspect's grandfather who said he had no idea his grand... And these people who you see, the, like Elder Malcolm would say, the worst type of human being is the pale-faced male. A man with a suit and tie is the most dangerous man in the planet right now. These men, these are the real... These are the real terrorists of society here because these people be behind shit like that okay he take the fall for it but these people are the ones that's doing all the wickedness in the planet earth but see he's sneaking so smooth he's got the smooth face he's coming soft you people are deceived by the devil man grandson had those guns in the house the grandfather saying he's a felon so it's illegal for him to have those weapons in if he had known it he would have turned him in he also says his grandson didn't have a license to drive couldn't drive and he wonders 
who took him to purchase those weapons and whether he was able even to practice on them. Robin. Many of us are wondering that. All right, Matt, thank you. Hi, everyone. Who took him to purchase the weapons? A government agent. That's who took him to purchase the weapons, man. All right. Uh, let me find a... Uh-oh, hello. Yep, this is the book of uh, Psalms 50. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 19. It says, Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Right. Okay, because we know that these stories, even though it's left, they are Esau concoct deceit from it. Because for one thing, the masses of the people are totally decept deceived by this. Even though those people that they hired to interview, they could have been hired. They could have been crisis actors. But the overall people in the comment board, they really believe this shit. And we're not saying that he didn't kill those kids because clearly if he did, that's clearly off. But regardless of that, they're not looking at the deeper motive. These people in the comic board don't even realize the government sent people in to do shit like this to be justified on passing certain laws, man. To be justified on taking away guns, to be justified on infiltrating social media accounts, to be justified on shutting brothers' YouTube pages down and monitoring us, man. Okay? And tying us to shit like that. That's what it's all about. But these people, they don't realize they're being used for a greater evil. Okay, you people in the comment board, you're being used for a greater evil, man, because y'all don't realize that they're trying to target the men of the Lord. And you people are going to believe every narrative they spin in the news about us because you people are glued to NBC all damn day. You haven't realized that this society, this government has been playing your ass since they established this society. They've been playing you people, man. You people have been getting played left and right from your taxes to your jobs to your money. You people have been getting played left and right, man. Okay, and they're going to continue to play you until you all eat a missile. And it says here, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. and Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Okay, and that's the whole thing, man. All of it is slander because like I said, I'm not justifying dude at all. He's completely off if that did go down. But if it was Timmy... Then it would have been a whole different narrative. It wouldn't have been all oh, he was weird. Oh, we didn't have any evidence that he was disturbed. You know, he was a good kid, got straight A's. He just snapped. But let it have been a Jake. Oh, he was a game banger. He was a murderer. He's a felon. You know, X, Y, and Z. It's a different ballpark. You know, and you people turn a blind eye to that. And when we bring out the critical race facts, then you people want to turn your ears and you be like the deaf adder. You want to act like you don't acknowledge what we're saying. Because you want to hide that bloody history of yours. Esau was behind that, man. You know? And notice he's a Latin Jake. So that show you what they're trying to do. The next shooter may be a Latin Jake with a big ass beard. They claim all oh, he was a Hebrew Israelite. Don't be surprised, brothers, when they start doing this shit, man. Then everybody that know you in the truth, they're going to start looking at you sideways because they think you feel like that because they heard a video. Maybe when you was younger, you may have gotten into an altercation and cursed somebody out and said the Lord is going to destroy him. People look at that and they keep that in the back of their mind and they'll use that. That's why you got to be careful on who you deal with and how you deal with. And it took a long, it takes a while to learn that, man, because you really believe people have your best interests and are genuinely towards you. But really, these people have no loyalty but to themselves and to their bellies, man. Okay, one argument, a uh, 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 argument can go left. A person to hold on to that argument for years until it's time to expose you, man. Well, I did remember he said that I was going to be destroyed. He was going to get powers and do X, Y, and Z. Come this fucker, man. Anyway, I got to shut it down, man. But uh, anyway, I'm going to finish part two. Lord's will, this was edified. Yeah, how about you, man? I was shy. Matter of fact, fuck this dude, man. I'm going to bring out this preset real quick. Matthews 13. And I'm going to start at nine. It says, but take heed for yourselves, for they should deliver you up to councils and, and synagogues, and you should be beaten, and you should be bought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among the nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you, take no thought beforehand what you should speak. Neither do you premeditate, but whatsoever you should be given in an hour, you should speak. Okay. Uh, verse 12. Now brothers should betray brother to death, and father and son and children should rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. So anyway... Oh, good, good. He's going inside. Good. So it says now, Salakia, man, I was this co-worker of mine was coming. I was trying to wrap it up. But it says here, now the brother should betray the brother to death and the father, the son and the children should rise up against their parents and should cause them to be put to death. And you should be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved, man. OK, so hey, brothers, man, hold on. They're going to throw the book at us. But hey, stay faithful. Let the Lord fight for us, man, because he promised he will fight for us. So with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about Shimei? How about Shai? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball.